Hey everyone, it's Ryan here from your Oxygen Forensic Training Team. Today we're going to talk about one of the newest modules included in Oxygen Forensic Detective at no additional cost. This is going to be our built-in translator. If you are having trouble analyzing data in a different language, then this new built-in translation module is meant for you. It can easily translate data to help reduce the overall timeline within an investigator's case. With the rapid globalization of technology, we cannot always rely on the extracted data being in a language that is known to the investigator. In order to solve this issue and reduce case time, we have added this translation module available for download within the customer portal. So let's go ahead and take a look at the customer portal and see how we can download and install this new translation module. From the Oxygen Forensic Detective homepage, we're going to navigate to our global options menu and to our configuration options. From here, we see our translations tab on the left hand side. Once we select that tab, we see that I currently don't have any languages installed for my Oxygen Forensic Detective. This is an indication that we need to visit the customer portal in order to download and install additional languages for translation support. I'm going to click this link to visit my customer area. Once here, I get to see my Oxygen Text Translate add-on. It's a rather large download, so if you're intending on using this for casework, ensure that you have enough time to download and install. I'm going to select my download option. Once my download is complete, we're going to go ahead and install our Text Translate add-on. From my chosen download folder, I'm going to select the Oxygen Text Translate ISO. When I double click this, it should mount to my system, allowing me to initiate the install. Another option is to select your mount option here in the Windows Explorer. Once this open file splash screen appears, I'm going to select open. And now we can run our Oxygen Text Translate setup executable. From here, we're going to navigate to where we'd like our destination to be, select our program language, and then hit our install option. This may take a few minutes to successfully install, but once installed, you can go ahead and close out of your Oxygen Forensic Detective and then relaunch and all of our available languages will be present. Or while this is installing, we can just go ahead and close out Detective. Now that our Text Translate module has been successfully installed, I'm going to select my Finish option, and then I can go ahead and unmount that ISO file. From here, I can go ahead and launch Oxygen Forensic Detective again. And now when I go into my Global Options menu, back into my Translation tab, now I see all available languages for translation. At this point, we are ready to begin our investigations and our analysis based off the data that we see that may require translation. So let's get into it. As you can see, I have an iPhone 6 extraction loaded into Oxygen Forensic Detective. There are many places where translation support can be found. Notably, those places are our Apple Notes, Calls, Messages, User Searches, WebKit Data, OS Artifacts, Wireless Connections, Key Evidence, Timeline, and at the individual application level. Now let's take a look at some of these sections to see translations in action. Here in our Apple Notes, if I wanted to implement a translation in line and at the same time as I'm investigating or analyzing this data, a few ways I can accomplish this. Along my top toolbar, I see my translations toolbar button. If I was to select the drop down arrow, I can choose to toggle on to show any translations that I have currently enacted. I can adjust my translation options back from my global options menu, or I can choose to have the highlighted item in column two, translated from this option. If I know the language that I'd like to translate from, I can select it here, or I can choose my auto detect option. 
if I'm examining a multitude of data, I can highlight more than one item, right click, and have the same translate into English from a selected language. This language is going to be Spanish, so I'm going to find my From Spanish option, and then we're going to see the translations run automatically, as indicated, both by my notification center and that spinning wheel icon. Now, the translation icon will be apparent in line with the text that's been translated. If I was to hover over this, we get to see what that translation looks like and the original text. This is also shown in our column three. The same functionality is going to be apparent through each and every one of those sections that we previously discussed. So let's jump to a different section now and see some additional translations on a larger scale. So I'm going to go back to my device overview and we're going to go into our messages. Once our messages tab has been successfully loaded, as we did in our Apple notes, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of my items and I'm going to come to my translations toolbar button. I'm going to select translate into English from Spanish again. So this is going to be that secondary way or additional way in order to translate items within column two. Now that our text to translate conversion is complete, as we've seen before, if I wanted to view what that translation is, I have a couple of options. I can hover over that particular line item in column two to be able to review that translation and the original text. I will also have that option in our details column, column three, where I can see the original text as well as the translation into English. Let's take a look at another section where translation support may be necessary. Back to my device overview. And let's take a look at an individual application. So here I have my Apple messages. I'm going to view all of my data by selecting my top categories in column one. In the same deal here, I have my options for translation on an individual line item basis, both with my toolbar button, as well as my global right click options. So if I wanted to do the exact same, I can right click translate from the language identified or use my auto detect feature and allow the translation service to run. Once complete, we'll see those translations made immediately available to us in column three and at each individual line item. Now, as we're seeing the translation, we can continue, of course, to identify items as key evidence with marking them with a key evidence star, right clicking and applying a tag. So same functionality here that we see across any section that we've worked in just now with the additional supported translations included. And as we can see, those translations occur at a very rapid pace. So we have much quicker access to identifying what particular text may be to help us further our investigations. Now that we have identified items and translated text within our case, now I want to be able to report on that and visualize those translations within my reporting. For instance, if I'd like to report specifically on my Apple messages, I can select my export option and export this to a file. Now I can start to generate and customize my particular report as typical within Oxygen Forensic Detective. But now we have our inclusion of our translation tab and I can choose to show the source text only, translated text only, or both the source or original text and translated text within my reporting. So now all that work in translation that you have completed throughout each of the individual sections can now be represented in line within your reports. I can even choose to show the translation direction, for instance, English to Spanish and so on. Once I've identified all the appropriate items within my reporting, I can go ahead and select export and that report will then generate. Translations can be viewed from both within an individual section report as we're seeing here or at a device level or at a case level.
one of the best locations I like to visualize any data that I'm working in within a case is going to be my timeline. This, of course, is going to show us all of the available timeline-based data from a particular device or from devices within a case, but gives me a one-stop shop to be able to visualize that data. So I'm going to navigate back to my device overview with my extraction overview button, and I'm going to navigate to my timeline. From here, like in any other section, this is going to aggregate all of our data that's associated with a timeline. Here, I can select my Messages tab and have the same translation support here within my timeline. Now, if there's a translation that I choose to not apply or I want to delete translations, I can simply right click and delete translation on an individual line item basis, or come to my top toolbar button and delete translations. This is going to apply for anything that's currently highlighted within column two. If you noticed, when I selected translate on a single line item here, it brought in all the already translated data from our messages section previously. So if I ran translations within a section, for instance, messages or calls, when I would go to that tab here in Timeline, I would simply need to right-click and rerun one translation on an individual line item, and the translations that had previously occurred will then be applied to our timeline. For more information about translations and any other additional supported modules within Oxygen Friends of Detective, or to include yourself in any one of our various training options, such as our Oxygen Friends Bootcamp, please visit us at oxygenforensics.com. Hope to see you in class soon.